Aha, dinky do. Hello, it's just me, Scotty McClue. Now, you'll not be expecting me at this particular time. It's about 20 minutes past 11 o'clock in the evening, and I thought I'd just pop up and do a quick late show so that we can catch up and see what's what, because a lot of you'll have been watching the football, and earlier you may have missed the tea time pop up. So I thought, this is not fair. We've had a lot of messages tonight say, Scotty, how come you don't pop up later on when we've actually got some time to watch you and hear what is what? So anyway, here we are. You're watching Scotty McClue. And we are, of course, live on the big one, Facebook Live. The one everyone's talking about. The one oh. Now then, I know a lot of you will be going to bed and you'll be getting ready for your bed. But having said that, there'll be one or two of you that maybe want to stay up for a few minutes and we'll just chit-chat live here on Facebook Live. Morning, Scotty, says, John Rogers, John Rogers, you were about earlier. This is for people that missed the earlier pop-up. Hey, fella, says Chris Kelly. Hey, Chris Kelly, dinky-doo from me, Scotty McClue. We are, of course, live on Facebook Live with a late-night pop-up just to say hi. And uh, Remo Pasiti is watching. Remo, we haven't seen you for some time. Marvellous to know that you are there. Scotty McClue is saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. The world's top broadcaster and the first law of the internet. Excellent stuff. That's what it's all about. I'll just turn this down because we're getting everybody jingle, jangle, jingle, jangle. So there we are. Turn that down and that should be better. Uh, Eid so uh, says Jav Salim. Excellent. Yes. Catherine Murray watching Dinky Doo, Catherine. Lovely to have you with us. Bit of a late night pop up with me, Scotty McClure, but nevertheless important just to keep in touch with those of you who don't manage to catch up during the earlier shows. The big show, of course, is on Sunday night at nine o'clock sharp. That's when we are live big style and all of you will be there. Paul Francis Carroll, Dinky Doo. Now, Paul Francis Carroll, the last time you and I were on there, we played a tune, and unfortunately, the video, I couldn't actually post the video. Is that not just amazing? So actually, we couldn't get to post the video. And I thought, what a shame, because we'd played a tune, so therefore, there were copyright issues, and we couldn't do anything about it, and the video wouldn't go. And uh, Sharice is there. Ah, oh, dinky do Sharice. Lovely to have you with us. Oi, oi. Oi, oi, my dear. Did you miss everything early, I say? Good to have you with us. And dinky do. Tell 10, tell 10, tell 10, Scotty. Tell 10, Chris. Very, very important. So if you missed Scotty McClure earlier, here we are saying dinky do to every single one of you. Now, we talked earlier. Let's just see if we're getting the lighting right. Is that better or is that too dark? That's a bit dark, isn't it? I'll pop the light behind on and uh, see if that helps guys so there you are that might actually be a big improvement hello handsome says Catherine Murray hello my darling lovely to know that you're there I hope you are well let me just pop on this light here with a big argy bargy earlier about should the light be on or should it not so there we are that's much better that gives you a feeling that somebody's actually in uh, what are you doing think you do yes very very big busy tonight, so I thought we'd just uh, pop up a little bit later and say hi to every single one of you. Does that help? I wonder. I'm just putting on different lights here, guys, to see what's best for you guys, what actually suits best. Um, I've got another light here. I'm just going to adjust it a little bit, see if that's any better. Does that help? Excellent stuff. So there you go. Hello there, my friends. This is Joseph Gibbons. Hello, Joseph. People won't be expecting Scotty at this time of night, so it's just a small pop-up, a late night pop-up to say hi. Pam Richardson, dinky do, lovely to have you with us. Jason Cunningham, lovely to have you with us as well. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Scotty McClure Show. Never ever miss a second of Scotty McClure. You miss a second of Scotty McClure. You miss a moment of life. It's past your bedtime, Scotty. It's well past my bedtime, Sharice. But I thought we have to pop up because a lot of the nation haven't actually had a chance they've been so busy why do you have your hat and jacket on in the house says Paul Lee because there's no roof 
You see what I mean? So you need to uh, have some sort of protection. I'll be sleeping in for work now, Scotty. Great excuse. <laughs> Gordon Roddy, you're late on tonight, Scotty. I am on late tonight, Gordon. And you're a man who never shunned at working late into the night when you were at Scottish Television. Wonderful. Lovely to know you're out there. Very reassuring, if I may say. Uh, you should be in your jammies, says Paul Lee. Well, I'm in my jammies at the back, but this is just a front bit that we put on like, remember these false beards and moustaches and glasses and cigar they used to put the whole lot on? Well, I just put on the checkered bit and round the back we've got the jammers. So there you are. You're busy, you're busy. No roof, no, no, no roof. Uh, Stephen Lipton, Dinky do used to love your tea. It was fantastic stuff. So there we are. Scotty, what about the working mothers, says Derek Miller? Well, the working mothers. Now, there's an interesting one. That's another discussion, perhaps, for another night. If you get my meaning, Dinky Doo. And Sharice is about Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us, Sharice. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that Scotty McClue is here with you. Uh, lots going on here. Um, I was wondering if we could try and take a Skype during this. Scotty, uh, <laughs> everybody's watching. Marvellous stuff, that. I wonder if it'd be worth taking a Skype. Who knows? I'm just going to pop up the Facebook and tell everybody that we're live right now. And if you can do the same there. Shirley Cooper watching. Dinky do Shirley. Lovely to have you with us, I say. And welcome to the Scotty McClue late night pop-up. I don't know if I've actually put pop-up into that, but it should have done. I'm just seeing what's what. Oh, there we are there. Uh, so what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to share that right now. That would be fantastic. Share the post there. Marvellous. My sister asked for self-raising shower gel, says Joseph Gibbons. <laughs> fantastic. Never a dull minute, Joseph. You're a wee comedian, I've always said. Now then, uh, did we share that? I think we did. Share post now, yes. As it share to a group, we'll share to the Scotty McClure group and let everybody know that we're on there. Fantastic stuff. There we are. Excellent. And we'll share that lot. And that lets everybody know that we are on live. Marvellous stuff. And also, I shall share to the Scotty McClure page. Uh, I wouldn't trust you to sit the right way around in the lavatory, says Paul Francis Carroll. That's one of my lines, Paul Francis Carroll. And I think I might have used that about you. But the only thing is... I would trust you implicitly to do anything. So there you are. That's you dealt. That's just all dealt now. Uh, excellent stuff. A Kunzel Hoos, says Sharice. Have you got a Kunzel Hoos, my dear? Excellent stuff. It'll be lovely and warm. They're very, very cosy. I can't get one. You know, you, you've got to go on the list and just wait your turn. They're very, very sought after. Alexander Marty, Dinky Doo, Richard McCusker, Dinky Doo. And uh, excellent stuff. Paul Lee, no, I'm not going to discuss other broadcasters, Paul Lee, so there we go. Evening, Scotty, this is Alistair King. Evening, Alistair, lovely to have you with us, and a very, very warm welcome. Tell 10 to tell 10 that Scotty McClure is live just for you. Live now, I say, excellent stuff, and we're just sharing, yes, there we are. Yes, I did share the post. I think it maybe shared it before as well. Yes, I can see what's going on here now. Excellent stuff. And uh, no, I don't live in a castle, says Sharice. No, I don't think we, we thought you did. Get the squeeze box out, Scotty, and the pipe organ and annoy the neighbors. We'll have them upstairs. Good daft. Scotty, bye. Uh, so there you are. Uh, Scotty, you're on more times than Corey, says John Adams. No, John, this is just a wee pop up live tonight. Uh, and all the single was still getting Kunzel Hussies. So there you are. Secret location in the bunker. No one in McClue Towers tonight. So it's not any great secrets. I hasten to add. There we are. Uh, what do we have? Do we have tea or do we have barley water tonight? Uh, did you see the Scottish guy in the American quiz show? They asked him where was Santa Fe and he says the North Pole. <laughs> Where's Santa Excellent. A wee bit of outage there, courtesy of the Noise Abatement Society. Marvellous stuff. Uh, I'm going to play live to you soon, matey. Yes, but Paul Francis Carroll, remember we can't play tunes live because we then are into copyright issues. Crazy, I know, but there we go. Beers, says David Clark. Yes, Cheers, you have a beer, David Clark. Uh, I'm in the bunk at a secret location, says Sharice. Aha, have you got yourself a Kunzelhus? Excellent stuff. 
and you're hiding out via the console. So there we go. Woo! There'll be a big noise about that. I'll tell you that. She's actually in a secret location. So there we go. Marvellous stuff. If you've just joined us, folks, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet, and, of course, the world's top broadcaster. Here we are, live on Facebook Live, one of the world's great broadcast platforms. Is that a wee Irish coffee, Scotty? Says John Wilson. No, John Wilson, it is not. I don't do the booze now, but the Irish coffee used to be very, very nice. Anybody know what's in it? Is there an Irish whiskey? in an Irish coffee, I ask you. So there we go. Uh, copyright. No, 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 no. no. She's, yes, 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 Therese. You can uh, play the songs on the piano if they're well copyrighted. So there you are. I could do a wee bit of stuff. So there we are. I bottle any, says John Adams. Good evening to you, Scotty McClure, says Cameron Erich. Sir Cameron Erich. There you are in Renfrewshire. Brandy, says John Wilson. Is it brandy that's in the Irish coffees? I thought it was Irish whiskey. And um, there's obviously a bit of sugar there and a bit of honey, maybe a wee bit coffee, who knows, a bit of cream, all that sort of stuff. Oh, no, no, that John Adams is here. So she, she's doing her nut. Get the hobnobs out, Scotty. Very good. I beg your pardon, sir. That sounds a wee bit personal. So there you are. It's not that kind of show. Uh, oh, I see what you mean. Yes, yes, absolutely, absolutely. Excellent. Lovely to have you with us. Now, guys, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that Scotty McClure is live on Facebook Live. This is the big one, the one everyone's talking about and the one everyone's watching. Scotty McClure is fast becoming a world Phenomenon. So they are everybody wants to watch the Scotty McClure show. And why not, for goodness sake? I'm in a secret location. I've forgotten where it is, says David Clark. No surprise. Melissa Cosler, hello. Hello, Melissa. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Do, do let us know where you're all watching from. Ken, 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 says Sharice. Ken, 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 my darling. Ne bother at all. Not to worry, we had a wee outage there. If you've just joined us, you're wondering what's going on, you're watching Scotty McClure. And we are, of course, live. This is the big one, the world's top broadcaster, just for you. Live on Facebook Live. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Scotty, can I PM you regarding an event? I'd like to advertise for children's charity. I volunteer for disabled kids and also invite you. It's free. No, absolutely no problem at all. The only trouble is I'm not on Messenger because it cuts off the broadcast. So we're not actually on Messenger. Uh, Paul Francis Carl, do you remember? I, I phoned you every day at Scott FM. Wonderful stuff. I've got some good music on my son playing the pipes. No copyright says John Wilson. Coslo, a thought that said coleslaw. Oh, no, no, Coslo, not Cosla. So there we are. Cosla might know about your good service. Excellent stuff there, Sharice. If you've just joined us, folks, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the big one. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 and get sharing and sharing and sharing. Let's have a share now. I had to look twice, says Sharice. I know the feeling, Sharice. Something I've done on many an occasion. So there we are. And uh, you, you sometimes just have to look twice. Anne Ingalls is watching. Anne, lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Do I See, you're watching Scotty McClue, a late night pop up just for you. Christina Ann McAuliffe is watching. Lovely to have you with us as well, Christina, of course. Excellent stuff. I know a lot of you will be on your way to bed, but um, you can always spare a few minutes. <coughs> Pardon me, to talk to Scotty McClure. The lovely Liz Lyon is watching. Lovely to know you're out there, Liz, and Dinky Do. I remember your lovely, lovely family very, very much indeed and very fondly. Facebook page, you can see it. I'd like to invite you along to it. David Morton, have you met a poor taxi driver yet? David Morton, I have never met a poor taxi driver. So there you are. Anne-Marie Dunin, good evening, good evening, Anne-Marie. Lovely to have you with us. No, I'm staying up now, says David Clark. 
Well, tell Ted to tell Ted to tell Ted you can. Tell ten. It is. Hello, Scotty, says Andy Bell. Lovely to have you with us, Andy. And Dinky Do, this is the big one. Scotty McClue, just for you. Live on Facebook Live. Uh, what does SW to GT stand for? Swell to greet. Paul Francis Carl, you could do it on the thumb pistons. You could do it on the pedal uh, pistons, the foot pistons. Swell to greet. Am I right? Or sometimes you've got a wee key you could pop down, but you can all thumb piston it. Am I right, Paul Francis Carroll? Swell to great. If you've got uh, your swell and your great organ, you'll see me swell to great when I'm playing um, Callan Lan on the pipe organ. You'll see me go on to the big boy. Let my lips meet the tip of your tongue, says Melissa Coslow. Lovely, Melissa. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Charisse is on Dinky Do Charisse. So there you are. And um, marvellous, marvellous to have everybody with us. Scotty, let me tell you, a breath of fresh air. You've been missed, says John Wilson. So there you go. Hi, you can't even miss me. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent stuff, and uh, great to have you all with us, by the way. Can we have a general share now, please? All right, I'm going to share as well, so you guys had better start sharing live now. Here it goes. Share. Share the post. Live now. Excellent. OMG, says she says, aha, well done, sir, says Paul Francis Carroll. What would... um? CH to SW B, Paul Francis Carroll. Come on then, see how you get on with that. Is this a live one? Or am I late like yesterday, says Robbie Cross? No, Robbie, this is absolutely live. 100% live. Scotty McClure, just for you, saying dinky do. A late night pop up because, as you know, we're doing work in progress with the Scotty McClure show. If anybody's feeling wealthy, if they've got a spare fiver, then go to Scotty McClure's website and stick it into the PayPal account. 100% secure. Choir to swell. When would you use choir to swell? Paul Francis Carroll, one of the finest organists. OMG, what's this? Piano notes. No, it's keyboards on a pipe organ. Uh, there's a moose loose about the seuss. Diddly, diddy, 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 diddy. Adam and Bailey Peel. Dinky do. Lovely to have the peels with us. I used to take a peel myself now and again. Lol, says Robbie Crossing. When are you getting back on the radio, Scotty? To call the nutcase women old boots again. So there you are. Old boots. Old boots. Old clays and parrots. Daniel, if you can, you can. You can, can, can. Can you no do, says Shirley on there. Charisse is from Kirkcaldy, so you'll have to forgive her. The Lang Tune. Good evening, Dave in Penrith, Cumbria. Dave Elwood watching in Penrith. How fantastic is that? Guys, this is the future. This is television at its very finest. What have you ever seen on television to match the Scotty McClue show? Come on now, front up, face up, step up to the plate, stand up and say your piece, or forever hold on to your piece. Uh, so there we are, there's Dave in Penrith watching Scotty McClue. I missed Sunday's show. Did I miss anything important? I'm disappointed, but I was on call with Mark Alistair King. If you miss a second of Scotty McClue, you always miss something important. Let's have it straight. Uh, do you remember that mad trucker that was on your old Scott M.M. show? I do, John. And I remember Mad John. Now, what was that? You. Rimmel City. Good morning, Scotty. Dinky do, Rimmel. Is it actually good morning? Uh, we're at... Um, 23.40, 23.38 in this country uh, so of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Hold tight, says Sharice. Always hold tight, Sharice. The louder you stream, the faster we go. There we are. It's uh, p.m. It's not morning yet. No, no, you're quite right. It is not the morning yet, but you are watching Scotty McClue. Excuse me, bit of a... Uh, um, oh, there we are. A wee bit of a comfort break there when I take a clute round my bits and pieces. I challenge you to Harrison and Harrison any time, matey. Och, away you go, for goodness sake. I'll tell you this. What about a mighty Willis? Aha, 
Now, I've got you there. Paul Francis Carroll, have you ever played a mighty Willis? A father Willis? Aha! Uh, at least there's no adverts on the live Facebook compared to the telly, so all good. Very, very, very good, I say. Oh, I forgot we're worldwide. Yes, you're worldwide. There are people watching who have never, ever, ever, ever heard of Kirkcaldy. And that's Pfeiffer's. So there you are. And the other half says good night. This is Derek Jimmy Walker. Good night. Lovely to have you with us, Mrs. Jimmy Walker. I'll tell you. A shout out from Atlanta, says Mon Malcolm Montgomery. Atlanta in the USA. How fantastic's that? What about calling this Scotty FM? Says Robbie Crossan. Well, we might look into that, Robbie. We're only touching the tip of the iceberg here. This show is massive right we're just playing at the moment we haven't even scratched the surface so there we are scott dixon unfortunately i've heard of kirkcaldy i wish i could forget says Remo per city harsh Remo, harsh and um, don't don't do lives sorry you don't do lives you've had nine of them so far uh, scotty mcclure says ryan finley dinky do lovely to have you with us excuse me Rimmo. no haters there we are dab on the haters i say excellent stuff harsh but true says Rimmo per city no no harsh on sharice guys cup of tea sip of barley water recommendations please and um, so there we are Rimmer says harsh but true if you've just joined us a very warm welcome you're watching scotty mcclue the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster live on facebook live just for you you're superb best wishes ali from edinburgh dinky do i'll meet you in salisbury cathedral says paul francis carl aha is there a mighty willis i have been in salisbury cathedral i don't know about how uh, easy it is to go in and out of salisbury at the moment because that's where they're all that trouble. Uh, I'm on Dragon Soup. Uh, we thought you were on something. Uh, Philip Bogle, Dinky Doo, Gus McPhee. Excellent. You should be in your bed. Gus McPhee, I say to you, you were on earlier. This is the late show for those that missed the earlier show. Scotty McClure live on Facebook Live just for you. Dinky Doo. Fit like for Peter Heed. Now, Abby Duncan, it's lovely to have you lying. And uh, we're hoping you're enjoying the show. Fit like your cell. And uh, food's your do's and echt. Uh, so there you are. But uh, you're up there now. Uh, you can buck, eh? Aye. And you can bump. And you can Peter Heed. And you can the brook. Eh? That's it. Ne bother. And uh, put it down, Peter Heed. Deep sea fish. Absolutely. Deep sea fish. They've got the fash up and Peter Heed. So there you are. Uh, Tony Bamford High. Oh, sorry. I'm still talking my Northeast die. I slipped into the Doric there. You must forgive me. Mm. Oh, that's lush. A wee sip of tea for Scotty McClure. Well deserved. Scotty likes the Bucky. No, no. Bucky's a place. Sherry's Ken. Ken, Ken. Enjoy sleeping, Scotland. Uh, it's time for work here in Australia, says Rimmer Pacity. Rimmer Pacity is watching the Scotty McClure show live in Oz. Fair dinkum, Rimmel. Uh, Peter Reed, fair Peter Heed's did, Scotty. Sorry to hear that, Derek. Aye, that's put a bit of a downer in my evening. But there you are. Is there a Volvo for sale? Uh, so, Wraith Rovers are great, says Derek Jimmy Walker. Absolutely, Derek. Yes, yes, there we go. You have a seat there and I'll get the nurse to speak to you. What is this, says Emily Smith. This is the Scotty McClue Show, Emily Smith. You are looking at the most famous broadcaster in the world, broadcasting live on Facebook Live, just for you. So tell me, what are you doing on here? You need to audition for the Beach Grove Garden, Scotty. I John. I'll tell you, we'll plan stuff. And we might even show you all how to go into the greenhouse and he a fly cup. So there we are. Uh, we're watching in Ireland, says so Sarah Malone Hart. Are you watching in the north of Ireland, Sarah Malone? Are you watching down south? Sure, there we are now. Uh, ten ton of quid and ten on the haddock. 
Peter Reed's finest vash. Absolutely. Derek thought where he stayed. It was where Edith Rovers played. No wreath. They'll be dancing in the streets of wreath the next. So they are. Dineta Dinata says Gracilda Virsbichetti. So there we are. Have I said that right? Gracilda Virsbichetti. Yes, Gracilda, lovely to have you with us. Follow, follow, says Callum Ford, Graham Loudon, West March, Kirkcaldy, Scotty, you should take over from Miss Sturgeon. Oh, I don't think that would be too popular. So there we are. It might be popular with the Scotty McClue fans, but I don't know about the rest of Scotland. Could you see Scotty McClue as the first minister of Scotland? There we are. I'd have to take my bonnet off in Butte House, maybe even in the Parliament. So there we are. And uh, PMSL, Scotty, you need to go to Big Brother. Give the public a real show. Well, this is a real show. I mean, 10,000 of you have watched this since Sunday night, so that's all right. Come back to TV continuity. We need you, says Tony Bamford up in Aberdeen. Scotty, can you give us all a bit more information about what's happening with the radio show? I can do my best, David Clark. I can't obviously divulge anything, but there's a lot of top-level meetings going on at the moment because a lot of people want the Scotty McClure show back on their radios big style. And on television, the red hand of Ulster will never be sold. Callum Ford, do you know that Ulster doesn't just cover six counties? It covers eight counties. So there you are. And do you know the background to it? St. Patrick was from Ulster. A place called Louth Village, quite near the border. Northern Ireland, I know Louth. Very nice there. Excellent to know that you're watching in Northern Ireland. That's fantastic. Scotty for Mr. Minister. So Scotty for Scotland. Excellent stuff. Very lush, very lush. In it to win it. Make it part of the uniform in Holyrood. Yes, everybody has to wear a bonnet if you're a Scottish MP. You must wear a Scotty McClure bonnet. How about that for the Scottish Parliament? Bonnet matches your jacket. Thank you very much. Did you like the jacket? There we are. It's to go back at midnight or I turn into a pumpkin. See, you learn something new every day. Any tattoos? Uh, I don't know if there's somebody else has got one. I don't have any. Would you trust somebody with a tattoo? That's a big question for tonight. That's Andrew Ontiveris. Any tattoos? Andrew Ontiveris. Are you Greek, Andrew, at all? Uh, tell me that. Hello, I enjoy watching your show. Have a nice day. Says C.M. Muradines. Muradines? Muradines? Have I said it right? Do let me know. It's Tweed. Lovely bit of Tweed. Callum Ford says, no surrender. Are you being held hostage or something, Callum, when you're saying no surrender? So there you are. Um, Gracilda says, uh, Perry Great at Irish History, says Emily Smith. Yes, Scotty McClure would like to think he has a broad general knowledge. We're a broad church. I love you, says Gracilda. See, si, see, si, thank you, Gracilda. We are the Bicatti. Uh, oh, jeez, I have five tattoos, says Robbie. Uh, no, I'm a loyalist, says Callum Ford. Now, Callum, you'll have to tell the nation what you mean by a loyalist. What's the difference between a loyalist and a monarchist? Uh, you said I'm from Aberdeen, but I'm from Barking in East London. Oh, I thought you were Barking. I'm sorry about that. Salty Rangers, says John T. Absolutely, yes, you're welcome. I have a few tattoos. I'm a big, mad, scary biker. Would you trust me, says Alistair King. Alistair King, I would trust you implicitly. I am Hispanic. 25 tattoos, says Andrew. See, Andrew. John is your stalker, says uh, Shari. Hi, Scotty. My mum says. Sandra from Falkirk Fund. I am from Lithuania, says Gracilda. Are you watching in Lithuania, Gracilda? Uh, responded to Sharice, you wish. Derek says Sharice, excellent stuff. If you've just joined us, folks, you're watching Scotty McClure. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I see this is the big one just for you. Bucky, uh, what are you saying? Sharice says, oh, Sharice, come on now. We've got a wee bit of uh, blasphemy there, darling. We'll have to watch your language. I'm going to have to put you on a Scotty McClure 
Quarterly Language Course, responded to Grisilda, I am a quarter Lithuanian. So there you are. Do you remember Don Pacifico? He was a Portuguese Jew um, born in Gibraltar and living in Athens. Always remember that from history. My uncle's brother's son roommate is Greek, says Andrew. Excellent. Yes, very, very good. Smart readers. Yes, indeed. Do you know Scotty from Five says John Warrender? Yes, well, Scotty is here, John Warrender. So that will do you for now. Excellent stuff. Right, are we having tea or are we having the barley water? I nearly said the barley wine there. Anybody know what a barley wine is? Have you ever had a barley wine? Do let us know, dinky do. If you've just joined us, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's the big one. Scotty McLuhan, Facebook Live, just for you, saying dinky do. Take your hat off, says John Tate. No, no. Uh, you're funny, Chavi says Grathilda. Grathilda, thank you for, I'm sure you are funny chevy as well. I'm having a laugh, says she's nothing wrong with that, Sandra can locks watching. Uh, Tony Bamford, there's a question, uh, something about living in East London, yellow card, Sharice on the naughty step, tattoos don't define a person's personality or trustworthiness, tattoos are pure art. So there you are. Excellent. A bit of art, a bit of body art. Well, I am a work of art, and I don't have any to-dos. Have you any plans for the weekend? How's the fox? Says Erica Meyer. Erica, you'd see that a couple of thousand people saw the wee visitor to McClure Towers. But with another wee visitor, we had a squirrel in the kitchen. For goodness sake, any cheap motors willing to pay about 500 for the right motor? For goodness sake, you'll get a top of the range for that. Uh, Scottish people eat haggis. No, Grathilda, haggis with two Gs. They'll eat the haggis, yes. Absolutely. Derek, I never said anything, so uh, So there we are. David Clark makes a comment about King William and uh, the rest of it. We don't like that, David. You mustn't. Say that, we'll try and take that away. Of course, Scottish people eat haggis. So there we are, says Sharice. Now you've stopped the, you've stopped the flow for goodness sake. We're putting your stuff in like that. Excellent stuff. Uh, of course, Scottish people eat haggis. Um, uh, John Warrender is in love with somebody called Bobby. So there you are. Uh, so excellent. John, excellent stuff. And uh, that's amazing. So there we go. Uh, oh, ah, says Sarah Malone Hart. Uh, yes, Sarah Malone. Lovely to have you with us now. Uh, excellent stuff. David, you idiot, says John Wilson. Absolutely, David. You need to watch what you're putting on the Scotty McClure Show. We have viewers from all over the world. We don't go in for any kind of uh, this way or that way nonsense. Uh, could I listen to your radio station on the internet, says Tony Bamford. No, we're not on the internet as such. We're on, well, we are on the internet. We're on here, Facebook Live at the moment. Uh, shame we have the idiots on tonight, says John Wilson. Yes, John, but very good of you to correct them and to police these people. This is why I would have had a job opening up the lines. Right, I'm off to bed. There we are. I'm working in Shield Inch tomorrow night for now. Dinky do to Scotty McClure and the rest of you guys. Three kisses from Robbie Crossan. Uh, the Tot Bet crew, says John Wilson. Responded to Grathilda. Chips, says Eddie Doby Senior. Excellent stuff. If you've just joined us, folks, you're watching Scotty McClure, first lord of the internet, world's top broadcaster, just for you, saying dinky do. Time for a share. Uh, I should have put God. Good show, says Michael O'Neill. Thanks, Michael. Lovely to have everybody with us. Hello, Scotty, says Dale Garza. Excellent. Elizabeth Campbell's watching. Lovely to have you with us, Elizabeth. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I say, this show is massive. It is going very, very big. Guys, if you wonder what I'm doing, I'm just doing a wee bit of sharing here. So there you are. So you'll see I'm about to share everything there, and I'm going to share it to a couple of pages as well. Um, so you'll see that happening, that coming up. Just going to share to the page now and get everybody on here. Right post, it's sometimes under. Scotty, who was the chap who called you often? I think it was called Rab or Bobby 
and often spoke about politics. Oh, that could cover stacks of people. Um, Paul Francis Carroll. So there we are. Uh, should have, says Eddie Dobby Senior. Excellent stuff. Right, I'm just going to share this, guys. Onto the Scotty McClure pages so that we know we're there. There's that one, and you can do the same if you're feeling uh, if you're feeling generous. If you want to put a fiver in Scotty McClure's GoFundMe or Scotty McClure's PayPal, you'll get the details on the website. So there we are. Um, responding to Gracilda. Yes. Are there any Scottish restaurants in Scottish? Says Oh, yes. Lots of Scottish restaurants. Lots of Italian restaurants. Lots of Greek restaurants. Lots of Indian restaurants. Uh, lots of um, Hungarian, Polish. We've got the lot here. Fantastic. Rabbi Burns. Guten Tag, says Bonnie Vadel. Guten Tag, Bonnie. Yes, nicht sprechen Deutsch. Ich bin ein Auslander. Nicht verstehen. But there we are. Uh, wait, what was I sharing with guys? Can you remember? Oh, yes. It's multitasking. That's the thing that we have to do. Who got you into broadcasting? Says Tony Bamford. I suppose myself, really. Uh, no, it was a wonderful, wonderful man who ran Scottish television for many years. Sir William Brown. So there you are. Uh, yeah, says Bonnie, and Lithuanian restaurants. Marus, OMG, Swahili, Jumbo, Jumbo, Sharis, uh, Jumbo. And uh, fantastic. Now, what have I got here on your page? And it's that one. And we'll just share now. Good. Right. You can all do a bit of sharing, please, as well. Just let everybody know that Scotty McClure is live. You speak any language. Bit of Russian for you. Previet if I am meeting you. And dos vidania if I am saying good night. Hey ho, says Emma Rose Davison. Uh, like in Chatham High Street. So there we are. He's in Chatham. You'll see my uncle's name on the Royal Naval Memorial at Chatham, in the dockyard. Do you remember Willie through the Carlton and Betty through Bothwell? Yes, I do. Of course I do. Paul Francis Carroll. Fantastic stuff. And our other wonderful lady as well. I hope she's all right. What part of Scotland you live, says Grathilda. Um, I live in the west of Scotland, Gathilda, uh, but I've also lived in the east of Scotland, and in Preston and Lancashire, and in Manchester, and in Edinburgh, and in Carlisle, and in London, and in Aberdeen. So there you are. You speak Lithuanian, says Bonnie Waddle. No, I don't speak Lithuanian. So there you are. And... Um, Eton, Etonian. I speak Etonian and Latvian and Lithuanian. Uh, East secret location, hon. So there we are. Oh, Labas, says Bonnie Vadell. Uh, Grathilda, yes, John. Excellent stuff. So what are you saying, Bonnie? Come on, you'll have to translate now for us. He's been around this man, says I know. I'm actually only about 25. I had a very, very tough paper round, Charisse. So there you are. You know all about that, I tell you. Right, folks, if you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McLean. This is the big one. The late night pop-up, just for you. Dinky-doo. If you're watching in America, that's hello in Lithuanian. Labas. Yes. Wendy broke the record shopping. She only took two hours, says Derek Jimmy Walker. And uh, did she take your card, Derek Jimmy Walker? <clears throat> You're a very clever man, says Grathilda. I've been told that. IQ of 164. But there we are. Accident of birth, I say. Believe in a meritocracy. Good night. Got to go to bed, says Paul Francis Carroll. Paul Francis Carroll, are you wanting a tune before you go to bed? What would you like? Uh, and I'll fire up the organ for you, my boy. I'll just have to move the tea. We don't want that all over the place. Oh, that's enough to put the show off here. Good to hear your voice, Scotty, says Catherine Harper. Alanta Smith, hello from the Blue Tune. Smarty pants, says Bonnie Waddell. Labas, labas. Uh, do you think it's normal for women to um, like to drink from a cup? Yes, it is, John Wilson. Uh, the wee glass milk bottles on the doorstep, third of a pint. OMG, used to listen to Radio Fourth years ago. Oi, oi. Grathilda, what kind of alcohol? you drink. No drink alcohol, Grathilda. Dry. Drink tea and um, drink uh, barley water. See, there you are. 
La Basse. So there we are. Oi, oi, Scotty. Yeah, Giuseppe Machetti's watching. Paul Francis Carl's going to his bed. So we need to play him a wee number here. So I'll do it on the, um, I'll do it on the pipe organ for you. I'm going to hear Paul Francis Carl. Dinky do, what kind of music you like? The pipe organ, Grathild. I just play the pipe organ for the world. Fantastic. It's good. Uh, anybody know the name of that tune? Can anybody name that tune in one, Paul Francis Carl? If you've gone to bed, you've got to name the tune. Got my daughter Jasmine here from New Zealand, Scotty. North or South Island, Scott. So there we are. Wonderful. Scotty McLeary says Giuseppe Bacchetti. So there you are. Can you name the tune, Giuseppe Bacchetti? See, si. lovely to have you with us. Tonight, uh, presto, presto, and the rallentando fortissimo. Uh, excellent stuff. Can you play Baby Shark? I can play anything. I only play Baby Shark if it's dark. Large side would be it. Ah, uh, wonderful maestro. Any names for it, Paul Francis Carroll, you should know. I just think you're awesome. Personally, I think so. So she reads, bra, PD. Auckland, Scotty, excellent. I had a family in Matamata, which I think is about, is it 10 miles from Auckland? There you are. Does your daughter know Matamata? So there we are. Think of Tomata when you're talking about it. Can you teach me how to be smart? Rathilda, you are smart, honey. I can tell you that now. I do not need to teach you how to be smart. All I need to do is let you realize just how smart you are. Okay, hello, says Jono Extreme Jono. Think you do, Jono. Hello to you. Excellent. Welcome to the Scotty McClure Show. Johnny, Johnny. Yes, Papa. So there we are. And uh, excellent. I was asked if I wanted to become a Mike Papa. Anybody know what I mean by that? Uh, eating sugar, no Papa. So there we are. Sharice, don't be eating too much sugar, Sharice. You're sweet enough, Angel. I can tell you that for nothing. Thank you, my dear, says Grathilda. Not at all, Grathilda. All you need to do is realize that you are very, very smart indeed. And you need to be told that. I can give you the key to the door. You must open it and go through the door. So there you are. And um, who have we got? How old are you, says Grathilda? I am 32, my dear, but a very, very tough paper round. So excellent. Uh, Ruslan's fantastic. So there we are. Papas, says Ruslan's. Excellent stuff, and you. Uh, chicken fillet and mash and peas tonight, says Jerry, Jimmy Walker. Excellent, Jerry, Derek, Jimmy Walker. You should be in your bed now. The missus is away. Uh, MP, Member of Parliament, Mike Papa. You're quite right, Sharice. Yes. So there we are. So somebody says, Scott, have a clue. Do not fancy being a Mike Papa. Excellent. So there we are. Anyway, uh, as you know, I am a, a great friend of the truth. Smarty pants, you're not 32, says Grathilda. Well, maybe not yet, but some people say I look 32. Uh, Andy Bell, hello, Scotty. I can't roast this guy. He's too nice, says Danny Boyle. Danny Boyle, you don't need to roast me. You know that uh, if there's any roasting to be done, McClure can do it with a wave of the tongue. Uh, so there we go. Excellent stuff. Now, ooh. That tea's good, guys. I hope you're all in your bubbles. Uh, shall we say, Chris Pratt. Excellent. Now, Chris Pratt, what I'm going to do with you, just a wee second, guys. Chris um, has been a wee bit cheeky, so we're going to block you. Okay. Now, you'll never hear from Chris Pratt again. He now can't see or hear the show. He was on cheeking up, so what we did, we just got shot of him. Gone. 
finished. So there we are. That's him. You'll never hear about him again. That's your waist. Listen, I wish that was my waist. When I was at my most beautiful, I had a 32 waist and a 15 and a half collar. So that's you. There you go. You look very warm. Yes, I am also a bit warm. I'll just give myself a quick swatch done. Oh, marvellous. Right, there we go. Excellent stuff. A swatch doing for Scotty McClue. A little bit warm. Miss you on the radio. So everybody, I miss you guys on the radio. But there's a lot of talk of it coming back. So stick with me. Guys, if you can share, 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 share. Let people know. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Scotty McClue is here. Put people's names into your Facebook account. So you're watching Scotty McClue in your bed. So there you are. What is your profession? I have many, many professions financial so there you are uh, legal and economic I have that so that's uh, that's my profession professional broadcaster that's my profession so there you are Scotty are you still in I'm still in just now we're still here absolutely do you want to deal wonderful I can no longer play poker with my Labrador because when he gets a good hand he wags his tail and that gives it away so there we are excellent you've got to know when to fold know when to walk away and know when to run excellent stuff you see I, I I know all about these things excellent hi there guys says Scotty Prue so there we go so remember if you're a cheeky person you will just be blocked we've no time for that on here uh, who's your daddy says Sharice my daddy has uh, passed on a wonderful wonderful man served in every theatre of war during the second world war you're a legend says John Warrender so are you John Warrender Parliament Reject, says JD. I would hope not. I've never actually gone for it. But the paper seemed to be very interested at the suggestion. That's your way, says Derek Savage. I never saw him what? Uh, so there we are. And uh, Nick McConkey will just get rid of you as well. We don't want idiots like that. So Nick McConkey is um, block. Right, there we are. He's gone. Excellent stuff. Talk something in Scottish. What if I said to you, Kamra ha'u hachama, hachamachi, falchi falchi, kidamili falchi, don Scotty McClough in the radio. There we are. Uh, excellent stuff. Was listening to the old Scott FM stuff, Atlanta Smith, Tettle Tea or Yorkshire Tea. Um, I like them both, but I'm a big Yorkshire Tea man because I worked in Yorkshire and lived in Yorkshire. I wish you could be my granddad, says Grathilda. Well, Grathilda, I can be your honorary grandfather. See, si. yes. Yes, libidus. There we are. Uh, what is your profession, says Danny Boyle? Many professions, I say. Scotty, you're still in touch with the lovable lassie. Spoke to her in the telephone last week. She is absolutely mega fantastic. Lovely, lovely lady. Share, share, share. Share, 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 everybody. Come on. Well done, Scotty. He's a multimillionaire, says Sharice. I wish um, I'm the richest man in the world. I just don't have any money. Uh, I've shared this to a couple of roast groups. People need to come and learn from the legend, says Derek Robertson. Absolutely, I've followed you, says Danny Ball. So you should, Danny Ball. Everyone on Facebook should be following Scotty McClue because this show is growing and growing and growing. Absolutely massive. So there we are. Uh, good boy, good boy, says Grathilda. Um, Perry Plata. BD, I never said anything, says Sharice. Hello, Scotty. Clever cookie, Scotty, says Catherine Harper. Talk uh, something in Scottish. Well, what do you mean by Scottish? That was Scottish Gaelic I was giving you there. But I could talk, uh, I could talk a Doric and say there's a good can of folk in here the next day. Nee, bud. Right, so that's that knee. Yeah, hey, Mr. Wilkes, chucking Yorkshire like, do you know what I mean? We're right fed up with that. And then we saw, like, Scotty McClure comes on radio like, you know. And I thought, right, that's brilliant, that, the nose. And uh, so we're watching Scotty like, eh? Excellent stuff. I uh, was listening to the old shows back in the day, best shows ever, says Derek Miller. I was in Scotland for five weeks this summer, says Scotty Brew. Loved Scotland. Yvonne Cuthill, Dinky Doo, lovely to have you with us. 
Is the wife asleep? Says Derek Jimmy Walker. I don't know, Derek. She's not here. So there you are. And uh, hello, hello, hello. Sharice. Megan is there. Be my daddy, says Sam Monday. Thank you, Sam. Uh, Sharice, is Gracilda in the same cell? Uh, <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't think she's taken holy orders at all. Have you taken holy orders, Sharice? Are you in a cell? Do you get it? So there we are. Excellent. A cell at the Abbey. How do you solve a problem like Sharice? Legend, says Marcel Arthur Dusky. Marcel Arthur Dusky. Lovely to have you with us. And thank you do, folks. Say where you're actually um, from when you're coming on. Excellent if you're out with the United K, uh, the, the UK. That makes you 72, says Derek Jimmy Walker. Don't be ridiculous, Derek Jimmy Walker. I've never had so much nonsense in my life. I'm never going to be smart, says Gracilda. Gracilda, you are smart, honey. Okay, you are smart. Trust me, McClue knows these things. Pardon me, excellent stuff. I'm from Essex. <laughs> A scud in the lug. <coughs> Mo Cameron, do you think Scotland should get their independence? Well, Mo Cameron, from an economic point of view, I am apolitical. So I don't bother with politics. But from an economic point of view, Scotland sends £40 billion pounds plus to Westminster every year and gets £23 billion back. They get their pocket money back. Do you see what I mean? So Scotland's actually keeping the rest of the UK running. So I think they should because Scotland was asset stripped under Margaret Thatcher and, uh, you know, there's some real want challenges and poverty up in Scotland and we need to sort that out. So money, either Scotland goes independent or money needs to start flowing northwards to the Scottish government big style. All right, so there you are. If Mrs. Day can do it for the DUP, then she can do it for Scotland, I would say. Uh, oh, do you have kids or a wife, says Grathilda. Ah, now, Grathilda, you are fishing now. Excellent stuff, so there you are. Buzzing to see you back, says Derek Robinson. Flashbacks to sitting in my bedroom, listening on the wireless. Would you prefer not to have to take a swatch at my coupon? Would you prefer to actually go on audio, guys? Uh, bet you go uh, and see you tomorrow. No, better go, says Stormy Bamford. See you tomorrow. Good night, Lord Scotty. Good night, Lord Tony. Lovely to have you with us and dinky do. I'll be going myself in a wee while anyway. Uh, cell phones. <laughs> cell phones. Good Yorkshire accent. Very good, says Catherine Arbor. Ah, it, it, it's right, isn't it, Catherine? You know, uh, the knows that you have to, uh, you have to have right accent. If you're in Yorkshire, like, you know what I'm saying? I think it's very important that we see Yorkshire as a genuine accent that people like, you know, and not a lot of utter nonsense. Utter nonsense. That's what a lot of people think, you know. Uh, the nose. Uh, I'm from Essex. I'm from Essex in South End on Sea. We like South End on Sea. We like Essex. Lovely. All you footballers and all the rest of it down there. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. Excellent. Have you got a gate on your house? Stop folk coming in. Excellent. Hunter George, Dinky Do, John Maitland, John Kieran McCool. A shout out to Shane Lurie, says Sam. Excellent. Where have you been for the something or other? I can't actually see that one. Um, I've been about, McClue has been about Dinky Do. What is the time, for goodness sake? It's probably time I wasn't here. Been a fabulous, fabulous show. Lovely to have you all with us, folks, and Dinky Do. Can we have one more share? Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue. Live on Facebook Live, just for you, the Tuesday late night pop-up dinky do are you all going to your beds i say you probably are excellent stuff you dear things now what is the time uh, i've got about is that about 12 minutes past midnight would that be about right 12 minutes past midnight folks who knows who can tell me the time what time do you have you see i don't surround myself by clocks when I'm broadcasting on Facebook Live. And I'll tell you for why. Because we're not meeting the network. When I worked for ITV, we had to run to the second because we were meeting the network. So you might be meeting 
another 15 ITV stations. I can remember one night uh, a program was taking the scenic route and it came via my ITV station. And they said, can your announcer top and tail the introduction for us? We said, yes, of course. So they said, right, that's it. You're going live. And I was live to the whole country. Fantastic. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, so a shout out to Shane. No problem at all. Dinky do. You're watching Scotty McClure. Late night Tuesday pop up. Uh, what have we got? What have we got, Scotty McClure here? Um, oh, you are psychic, says Grathilda. I am. I am psychic, Grathilda. And I could tell you all these things. And I suspect that you are a very good looking young woman. I think you, um, have a, a pale complexion and I think that you have um, longish hair and that you're a very clever girl so there you are and you're also very stylish Grathilda so there you are I think you're a very stylish woman very stylish lady so there you are you're very elegant you might even be quite tall you, I think you're quite slim so there you are so that's what I think. So they are. You tell me, am I psychic? Did I get any of that right? Uh, yellow card, uh, Jimmy Walker. So there we go. Um, how are you doing, mate? Says Danny Greenberg. Dinky do, Danny. Lovely to have you with us. I say, you're watching Scotty McClure. Take your hat off, says Sammy Original Hasselden. No, because I'm thin on the top. So quick look. Hey! Quick swatch at McClure's Pete. And then that's that back on. I don't take my cap off for everybody, you know. I don't pop my cap for any one I see. Hey, big spender, spend a little time with me. And um, Alistair King, politics are a waste of time. W-A-I-S-T, W-A-S-T-E, Alistair King. But without it, everything will go to pot. Worse than it is, well, what you could do is get rid of politics and go for absolute monarchy when the Queen is in charge of the lot. All right. So there you are. At the moment, we've got what's called constitutional monarchy when the Queen entrusts Parliament to do her bidding. So there you are. But... um we could return to, to a absolute monarchy. Then it's the Queen in charge and dissolve Parliament. They can all just flee to the winds. Uh, so that's what happens there. Right, Lathilda. Is it Scotland better to work than Kent? For example, Sittingbourne. Oh, Sittingbourne's very Swiss, Lathilda. You know, I mean, Scotland is a very Swiss country, but from a point of view of work, Sittingbourne and Kent, very nice, I say. Scotty, <coughs> you got that hat at the House of Brewer. <laughs> right, and I know what you're saying. Andy Bell from East School Bride. Love the show. Legend of a guy, Scotty. Paul Francis Carl, you were supposed to be in your bubbles. Care to join me at Clare College next week? <coughs> Clare College in Cambridge for a battle of the organs. I was talking to a lady who uh, attends King's College in Cambridge. Very nice. Pretty swish organ there when it starts the um, the carols from Kings with. Uh, there we are, a couple of bum notes there, of course, but uh, we're just doing it ad hoc while we're looking at the screen. You look high on creek, says Sean Lamb. I'm high on the Irish creek. I'm high on the chat. That's what we are. We're high on the creek. What's the creek, I say? Uh, the James Carter, excellent stuff. What have we got there? Where have you been for the last 20 years, Scotty? Says Derek Robertson. I've been working, Derek. So excellent. Very, very busy on a lot of big, big projects. And of course, what I do, I go to other radio stations. So because I leave Scotland, you think I'm not on the radio, but I'm on the radio down south, the northwest of England. 
you know, 5.2 million people listening to Scotty McClure. How fantastic is that? And then I got replaced by Jeremy Kyle. Do you know Jeremy? There we are, fabulous broadcaster. So there we are. Yes, Scotty, says Kieran Westlicky. Excellent to have you with us, Kieran. And Dinky Do, I say. You're all watching Scotty McClure. George McLashan, lovely to see you. I love South End on Sea, so she's Mark Ferry's watching. Gracilda, Charisse, what made problems? Gracilda, was I right about you? Did I have that right? Shout out to Slick Rick, says Kieran. <laughs> Hi, Scotty, from Chris in Bolton. Chris Hoyles, down in Bolton in Lancashire. From Bolton. Right, that's it. Right, you have it to do, haven't you? So I tell you, uh, Elaine Lennox, share, 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 can't share, but share, folks. John Wonder, it's 12.13. Yes, 0.013. So it's time to go, time to go, time to go, guys. Lovely to be with you. This is Scotty McClure thanking you and saying dinky do to every single one of you. Do you like the idea of the late night pop-up. All right, have a think about it, because this is work in progress. This show is absolutely massive. We're on a big, big broadcast, broadcast platform, big, big broadcast platform. We have uh, a potential of 1.8 um, billion people alive on Facebook. Now, I think they should all Watch Scotty McClure, and uh, we'll do a program for them. Dinky do, I say. So that's what's happening there. If you've just joined us, lovely to have you with us. Uh, we're just about to dash, and uh, thanks very much for watching. I'll sing you the goodbye song. Are we ready? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody, of wheat or zain, au revoir and a cheery o. I'll play myself out. Are we ready? <laughs> Night night, my loves. Sleep well. Scotty McClure has left the building. Dinky doo.